Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, our YouTube channel. Yeah. The Mokaz is here. Mm -hmm. Tiwami. Tiwami. Yeah. Okay, make sure you check him out. He has amazing content. Yeah. Check him out, Tiwami. Tiwami. Uh, today, I want just, you know, a few of your minutes, we talk about why people don't lose weight. Mm -hmm. You go to the gym, you've been going to the gym for a month, two months, three months, then you wonder, Nothing happens. Especially you get that comment. We will make cook in the gym, mm -hmm. but we need results. When you, what do you go to do? You know, like yeah, me, me actually. You have to go to the gym. Yeah, because it, it, it's a question actually people ask a lot. I've been yeah. going to the gym and I'm not seeing much of the results. Result, yeah. Now, I'll, I'll use a, diff, uh, a very simple diagram. If you can, if you can, yeah, check it from there. So I'll use a very simple diagram. Uh, whenever we go to the gym, before you go to the gym, what do you normally take? Maybe tea, mm -hmm. yeah, bread, bread or something. Okay. So that's carbohydrate. Carbohydrate is normally broken down into glucose, then glycogen. Yeah. Biology, I'm sure you did fail your teacher out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So immediately you go to the gym, you have already glucose in your system. What, what normally happens when you start working out is the first thing that actually you want to eliminate from your system is the immediate glucose you've had. Mm -hmm. So when, when you start working out, we normally have, cause you see, if I am fat, I did not grow fat overnight. Yeah, yeah. It's been, it's been coming. Yeah, it's been coming. I noticed it's, it. Yes. Yeah. You wake up in the morning feeling heavier. You are like, Looking ah, it's fine. Mirror, yes. Seeing a change. Yeah over and over again until you actually go to a point of no return mm. but you can redeem yourself so what you're saying is uh we can work on the fat that actually i put in a week ago mm -hmm. let's start by today because yeah. you see before it becomes fat it goes through some processes mm -hmm. glucose from carbohydrates to glucose to glycogen to free fatty acid after free fatty acid, it becomes stored fat. So we normally have glucose in your system, free fatty acid, then the stored fat. The stored fat is normally the, you know, the last part. So that is the process of you gaining weight. And to work out that weight, you, we reverse that process. So when you get into the gym, what you do first is very important because it now deplenishes the glucose in your system. Once you deplenish the glucose in your system, the next kind of workout, whatever kind of workout you're doing, is now you're utilizing the free fatty acid. Let me tell you something. Whenever you work out, there's what we call metabolism. Metabolism is like an engine yeah. that aids you to, to do the workout or to lose weight. Metabolism uses fuel. Are we together? So metabolism uses fuel. So when you start to the gym, whatever workout you're doing first, the metabolism uses the glucose in your system. It uses that glucose for fuel. Mm -hmm. Let me say it again. When you start working out, metabolism uses the glucose, the immediate glucose in your system for fuel. And that normally takes around 10 to 15 minutes of your initial workout time. So that's why whenever, whenever we start a workout program for someone who wants to lose weight, we normally start by doing cardio. So cardio mostly is now for you to eliminate the glucose, for the metabolism to use the glucose as fuel. Then now after that, we normally do different kind of workouts. That's when you do weight training, that's when you do your insanity. That's when you do your HIIT, high interval intensity training. That's when you do your, you know, whatever workout you do here is also very, very important. 
because now here metabolism uses what the free fatty acids what was stored in your body you know a couple of months ago a couple of weeks ago not immediate yeah. realize we've already consumed yeah metabolism has already used the immediate glucose you've had that morning or maybe last night for fuel yeah. now you get to a point where by you're still working out so you get to a point where by now the metabolism glucose has deplenishes in your system so it now start deriving deriving from the store free fatty acid you know what you would maybe put in your system a week ago two weeks ago a month ago it start now tapping into that for fuel when that one gets deplenished you are still working out mm -hmm. now metabolism start utilizing the stored fat for fuel so when you get to a point whereby the metabolism start utilizing the stored fat for fuel my friend you lose weight very quickly so let me tell you what people normally do they go to the gym and do simple workout that only helps the metabolism to utilize the glucose in your system you don't get to a point whereby a metabolism utilizes the free fatty acid you don't get to a point whereby the metabolism utilizes the stored fat so until you get to a point whereby metabolism utilizes the stored fat for fuel your weight loss journey will be very very long and that's why whenever we are coming up with a program a weight loss program will put you into warm-up it's very important sometimes it's not that intensive it doesn't look that you know it's, it's not tough but it's very important for you to utilize the glucose in your system yeah so that after that i give you a workout whereby we are doing if we are doing circuit training if we are doing uh, high intensity interval training if we are doing body toning whatever workout we are doing after the warm-up will start your metabolism will be utilizing the free fatty acid then after that we give you we give you a workout that you can do to utilize the stored fat so once you get to a point whereby you're working out to utilize the stored fat metabolism utilizes the stored fat for fuel you'll start losing weight very quickly so whenever you go to the gym have a program in place know what you are doing from the minute you walk in to do your warm-up what kind of warm-up you are doing is also important because actually some kind of warm-up you might do will jump start will push you to Towards the next level very quickly yeah if i'm just walking on the treadmill for one hour it's just a mild walk mm. the best i'm achieving maybe is fitness and utilizing the glucose that I normally maybe I, I, I put this morning or last night but I don't get to a point I'm utilizing the free fatty acid and the stored fat yeah so whenever you go to the gym have a plan if you're doing a treadmill do a workout that will actually deplenish the glucose quickly then go into a workout a serious workout that will start you know will push metabolism to start utilizing the free fatty acid for fuel then push yourself even harder to a point where metabolism starts utilizing the stored fat for fuel yeah. and you know what to be very honest they normally say if it took you 10 years to gain that weight the best you can do it will it will take you half that time to lose all that weight yeah. key is to lose all that weight but if you've gained maybe if you've gotten to 100 kilos in a span of uh, say 10 years you can actually cut 50 kilos in a span of five years so what you do first is very important and we normally have case studies whenever i do like i deal like with a client i normally have you know how you start we as in every month because as a personal trainer i'm i'm paid by the results my clients are seeing yeah yeah, that's why our, our contract is always <coughs> short term our contract is always like month mm. at the end of the month we take measurements and let me bring you back now to another thing that you need to realize maybe we have mentioned that before but it's very important we mention that now 
when you start working out the first month you may not see any change because what you're doing the first month is getting the body into the system yeah and during that time i'll be working on your form i'll be working on your technique which is very important during the first month so it's very good to be it's, it's important to be clear with with you know whenever you are dealing with weight loss issues mm. the first month will be you getting to the system mm. because you can't maybe you, you don't know how to do proper squats yeah. maybe you don't know how to do proper running because everything has a technique of how to do it maybe you don't know how to do proper jumping jacks so the first month we normally do and i want you to have that in your mind or at least whatever you're working out from just tell yourself that the first month is you getting into the system and what they normally say for your body for anything actually if you want to have anything in in place like if you're training yourself for certain habits if you can do that for 21 days it's already uh... in your system yeah. so the body will have established that as even in workouts if you can do a workout continuously for more than 21 days that's why we normally give it like a month because mm -hmm. yeah. you have rest days in between if you can do a workout for a month you are good to go you do a workout without expecting you know to see quick results because yeah. the first month is yeah so if you can do that you'll get to your goal very quickly because during that one month you are just getting fit so two things might happen in the process because we are replacing fat into muscle let me repeat that again first thing we do is to try to replace the fat in your system with a muscle get this clear the muscle that you have replaced the fat with is always smaller than the fat but it weighs heavier than the fat let me repeat that again. We are replacing fat with muscle. However small the muscle is, it always weighs heavier than the fat. So what normally happens is, when you go to the weighing scale immediately after maybe a month of your working out, you realize your weight has stagnated or your weight has gone up. That's not the time to quit. That's the time to push even harder because now you know you have been converting fat into muscle mm -hmm. and the second process now is what we call ripping ripping is now you're downsizing the muscle into the you know the shape that actually you want and the size that actually you want so you have first to replace fat into muscle mm -hmm. before you now start working on the muscle you know shaping the muscle yeah, right. and that's why the, the the best the best thing you can actually do to gauge your progress is not the weighing scale. The best thing you can gauge your progress is your tape measure. Always have a tape measure. When you're starting your workout, measure your arms, measure your, your bust, measure your, 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 your hips, your waist, your thighs. Measure them, write them down somewhere. After one month, measure again. Yeah? So you realize your clothes are more fitting, they are a bit loose and you yes you, on the weighing scale the weight has stagnated or gone up yeah but your clothes are fitting more yeah, because like for me normally when i go on the weighing scale like more often i really i'm really shocked because i this day i'll be 61 this day i'll be 63 this day i'll be 64 you know it, it just continues to vary but one thing that i've noticed of late is like my shorts yeah my pair of shorts nowadays are always falling down so i know I've lost a couple of weights, or maybe I'm really turning down on the on the midsection. The midsection. Yeah. yeah. So it's very important we do that. So next time we'll talk about what changes during your menstrual, you know, circles because a lot of things changes, and in most cases your weight will go up during those times. So that will be in our next topic. Okay. okay. Thank you so much for hanging on with us here. Kindly tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to our channel, yeah. the Mwakazis Chiwami. Yeah. Yeah. Because we are having hot topics here. Yeah. We give you hot workout as well. Yeah. So we don't just do actions, we also teach you why we are doing what we are doing. Yeah.
promises. Very, very important. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye.